is where we've re-sown all the native grasses, which attracts native insects and birds and small predators, which attracts bigger predators. The holistic approach, your husband said. Yeah, we chose this site because of the waterhole. How deep is it? Do you know? Uh, bottomless, but in places, or so Dip says. And the spring runs right from the house. It's our water supply. Interesting. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah. We think so. It's his birthday, but I'm paying, so shut us down at midnight, OK? OK. These guys need to work tomorrow. Caroline. Meet Cedric Fatani. Caroline's my new PA. Caroline, hi. Mr. Fatani. You two know each other? No. Oh, yes. No. Yes. No. Well, well no. not really. No, by, by reputation. Uh, my husband drinks in Mr. Fatani's bar. <laughs> yeah, um, how is, uh, how is... Oh. So, um, you're working for Mr. Peters? Yeah, just catering for a birthday party. Bus, the union rep is back again. I thought we'd sorted it. What was it you were saying the other day? Oh, yes. A about your principles? I'm trying to make a living, Caroline, OK? What are you doing here? The less you know, the better. And if anyone asks, you didn't see me and I wasn't here, OK? Was I here or...? If I were you, I wouldn't be. Excuse me. Hey, you two. Morning, Dr. Bloom. How's the patient? The amoxicillin's working. The temperature's still high, but it's improving. You can come closer. Glad she's getting better. Once she's finished the course, I'll take her back out into the bush. I'd rather her cubs weren't born in captivity. It must be hard for you, as a vet. How do you mean? Oh, when an animal like that needs your help, how can you not intervene? You know, maybe I could have another look. <laughs> it will be my pleasure. Mr. Duplessis. Look, Doc. Let's not beat around the bush, eh? You don't really rate this place. You think Trevanian is soft on the animals and that leopard's den is nothing special. Well, there's something you need to see, because you're wrong. Dub, we've already shown Dr. Blum round the reserve. No, you haven't shown her this. What I'm thinking of, you don't even know about. Really? What is it exactly? Come on, I'll show you. You tried password or one, two, three, four, five? Yes, and every variation thereof. Mm. Try looking in his desk, he might have written it down somewhere. He might have been senile. Date of birth or jump of his driving licence. His mother's maiden name, his first pet, his best friend at school. Honestly, how very blokey. Gran? Gran, just grab what you can and come home. Wait a minute. Gran! It's not a long walk, just over here. It's quite amazing. You know, my grandfather found this place. <laughs> Watch out, there's a hole here, eh? Oh. So anyway, my grandfather swore my dad to secrecy. My dad made me promise never to tell anyone, and I never have, until now. What exactly are we meant to be looking yeah. at? You're standing in it. Yeah. Look at that. Is that an arrowhead? 500,000 years old. You know, for millennia, our predecessors, Homo Augusta, they made tools here. You find them lying around everywhere, like confetti. The first archaeologist who excavates this gully, he can rewrite the history 
of civilization. Look at this. Ah, this blade. One and a half million years old. Now, this is extraordinary. And you've kept this place to yourself after all these years. Why? Well, because tourists would come flooding in. And anything a tourist touches, he destroys. This place is too important to keep hidden. The world needs to know. If this environment doesn't need to be protected, what does? The prevailing rocks of basalt, yet these are flint. Uh, Homo Augusta brought them here. Yeah, but surely wouldn't that be... No, I think that's a question for the archaeologists. Oh, please. Are these even real? Well, of course they're real. Well, they're all from around here. <sighs> but this is marble. I mean, this is the most pathetic host since pulled down man. Pulled what? Dr. Blum, I'm really sorry. I'd I... like to go now. I'll finish my assessment. Don't. Faking an archaeological site. Yeah, well, it nearly worked. I mean, it was worth the try. She'd given up on us anyway. No, but she has now. Our Speck are going to flatten our home, and it's all thanks to you and your family jewels. Did you say Afrispec? Afrispec, the mining company. They're digging for platinum nearby. They want to buy us out, then demolish the house to build an access road. Oh. So that's why you applied for protected status? We applied because we deserve it. And because we're desperate. Well, why can't you take them to court, or...? There's a hearing tomorrow. We thought if you'd given us the nod, that would at least buy us some time. Why on earth didn't you tell me all this earlier? Because we wanted to qualify under our own merits. We thought we could. <sighs> Mr. Trevenian, I'd love to help. But right now I don't see how I can. Who's a bigger pain, the union rep or those vets next door? Uh, the Trevanians. Yes, I've heard of them. Yeah, I'm seeing them in court tomorrow. It'll give you a chance to catch up with the filing. Super. How's the spreadsheet coming on? The rest of the figures are in. Actually, I was wondering if I could knock off early today. Early? Like when? Like now. Apparently my husband's had a fall in the bar. I'm sorry. A bit early in the day, even for him. Well, if you have to go... So I suppose I shall see you. Wait a minute, Caroline. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no, really. I'm used to it. Well, good luck in court tomorrow. May the best man win. Yeah, we will. Thanks for all the work you put in, Dr. Blum. And sorry we wasted your time. You didn't waste my time, Mr. Trevanian. I'm impressed with what you're doing here. If we had more time to work together, who knows? Good luck in court tomorrow. And believe me, if there was anything I could do to help, I would. Thank you. Thanks. See you in a bit, guys. Mr. Peters, what will you have? I'd like some information about my so-called secretary, Caroline, if that is her real name. Yeah, sure, it is her real name. I mean, as, as far as I know. <laughs> and do you know her real address? Because the one on her references doesn't check out. I really couldn't say. But you do know? Yes, but not that well, you know. And what about that husband of hers? She says he drinks in your bar. Her husband? He's not anybody. He's... 
He's not. I know. It's duplicy, isn't it? No. Oh, hell. Mr. Peters. I know you're desperate, but sending Caroline around? Caroline? What are you talking about? And here she is, with Mr. Duplessis recovering from his nasty fall. I haven't had a thought, but you might. She masqueraded as my PA to steal files from my computer. That's deception. Theft. We'll pass over industrial espionage for now. This is the first I've heard of it. To believe her. Fine. Whatever. But if you return those files to me, I'll say nothing about this in court tomorrow. Our lawyer needs to see them. They don't need the files for the hearing. And if I tell the judge this story, your case will be over even before it started. Where are they? What a twerp. We made copies. No, we didn't. I don't believe this. We agreed. We work together. We stay legal. I'm sorry, Danny, but I had to do something. So you risked everything for what? Well, there is this. It's all we managed to get off a memory stick. What is it? It's a map. I can see it's a map. There's us. There's Mara. This is an alternative route for the access road coming in from the east. So, if they built that, they wouldn't need to demolish Leopard's Den at all? Well, no wonder Peters was panicking. I've been so stupid. I've been playing it by the book, and all this time he's been sitting on this. You think it'll be admissible for evidence? Well, let's hope so. It's all we've got. <laughs> <laughs> 